Slurp. Then to the calm. Look at how I roll with these blue shades on. Bad bitch, some thick got you moving though. Look at how I roll. Look at like a. a, a, a. Anyways, do you guys know those like animated like stories? These like animated stories? Do you guys know this shit? It's like these random fucking animated stories with these bizarre fucking titles that I'm pretty sure is fucking fake. But like, it's bizarre. They are fucking weird. I don't really have to explain shit. Let me just tell you which one I'm going to be reacting to. And this is kind of like setting the tone of the fucking video. Um. So, um, basically, I'm reacting to my brother wanted me after my parents left the house. So, yeah. I guess we're at hometown Alabama right now. So, yeah, I'm going to be reacting to that. They're basically like animated stories that I think are fake but they're trying to make it seem like it's true so let's just go ahead and react to this sorry kiddos so the videos that i reacted to that day got fucking deleted um yeah but it's fine it was basically just anime bitches with big boobs telling a fucking story so honestly you're not really missing out but if you're into that shit well you're kind of missing out uh -huh. the video that you know i reacted to the first one it wasn't really that interesting i'm not really gonna show that one but i will show the second one that i reacted to because that one was so fucking bizarre like actually the definition of fucking bizarre Basically, they're just gonna watch me react to it. Sorry. Sorry. Just imagine fucking anime hentai bitch with large fucking boobs. Big sweaty boobs. Just imagine that. Alright. Oh, look at this hanger. Look, I broke it. Oh, well. And for some reason, it's so bendy that I literally cannot snap it. Oh, okay. Okay. I was kind of having fun playing with it. That sounds kind of weird. So the next story I'm reacting to is uh, I really wanted to be a mom dot 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 and my stepdad offered the perfect compromise. So yeah. <laughs> and the thumbnail is something. So yeah. Be sure to also smash that like button to get this video on trending. No. So without Growing up, I've always wanted to be a mother. When I graduated college, I went to propose my plan to my boyfriend. He's been my college sweetheart and we've dated for almost two years. We even thought about moving in together in the future. So I decided to go to his house one day and surprise Johnny with my plan of starting a family. Johnny, I want to start a family. I thought he was going to be just as excited, but instead, Johnny pressed his lips together for a moment and then shook his head. Dinah, we're only 21. I'm not ready for kids. Actually, I was thinking of breaking up as well for a while. You're kidding. He did not do that. He did not just do that. I just casually just saying, I'm thinking about breaking up with you, huh? These boobs. Oh my God. They're just up in my face. Soon after I came home, I ran up to my room. I know my stepdad was home and he even called my name, but I knew if I started to break down in front of him, he would only ask more questions. So I ignored him and ran into my room. I threw myself onto the bed and broke down. I heard my bedroom door and my stepdad taking a sharp breath. Sweetie, what's wrong? Daddy, I said with quivering lips, trying to stop my tears as I looked at him. Daddy. Just gonna leave it there. I wanted him to see me as this strong girl that I could face the world next to him now that mom was gone about three years ago in a terrible car accident. He walked over to me and sat on the side of my bed. I didn't think twice as I threw myself into his lap. He pulled me into his chest, patting my back. Daddy, what's the matter? He broke up with me. My stepdad frowned as he stared at me. Why would he break up with you? I can't say. The last thing I would want to tell my own father was how much I wanted to have a child when he still saw me as his little girl. He was a terrible boyfriend, trust me, sweetheart. Plus, I never liked him anyways. I snorted. That's because you're my daddy. You're supposed to hate my boyfriends. No, I hated him because he's a waste of space and a trash of a human being. He uh, okay, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Damn. Whoa. At that, I stared up at him, shocked. What? He wasn't even that good anyways, always bragging around me about how thankful you should be of having him when it should be the other way around. I couldn't believe what was coming out of his mouth. 
Daddy, are you jealous? Of course I am, he admitted, rolling his eyes at my question like it was stupid. My little girl is being taken from me. He didn't deserve you. You are perfect. No one deserves you. Not even me. For some reason, his confession made my heart skip a beat. There was a throb between my legs as I bit my lips. Really? Yes, sweetie, he groaned. And I could feel him getting excited as he stared at me. What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck! Um... <laughs> okay! Uh... Tell me why you were crying or else I'll march up to his house and beat him. I wanted him to knock me up. What? I want to be a mommy, but you're only 21, sweetheart, my dad said, shaking his head. I know, but I'm ready. I know what I want. I can handle it. I cried and stood up. I felt so angry and rejected for the second time today. You know what? If you're not going to make a baby with me, I'll go ask someone on the street. Um, huh? Wait, the way that she just escalated... Uh, a second ago, she was just telling him about why she was crying, and then now she wants her stepdad to give her a baby. What the fuck? She really said, or oh, I'll find some guy on the street. Hmm. <laughs> this is inch. Hmm. You are not giving your virginity to anyone. I turned, ready to run out of the room when he wrapped his arms around my wrist, making me stop. The next thing I knew, I was lying on my back on my bed with my dad holding me down. I've never seen him look so angry, and there was passion and lust. What are you doing? I asked. You want a baby? He growled. He got up to take off his shirt until he was just in a pair of slacks. You want a baby no matter what, sweetheart? I nodded, feeling breathless. Yes, daddy. Then I guess you and your daughter will be calling me daddy then. <coughs> What the fuck? 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 I'm giving you the perfect compromise. I swallowed, licking my lips as he watched me. What do you mean? I will knock you up. You will belong to no one but myself. Really? I stuttered out, my heart beating so fast. What the fuck? You'll make love to me and give me a baby? All night, so you better be prepared. He chuckled and then kissed me. He was the best kisser ever. He said all night. He said all night. All night. All night. This is her stepdad, by the way. This is not just like a fun, like, you know, oh, let me just give you a baby. Fine, I'll just give you a baby, which is fucking weird. But he said it all night. So basically, these feelings he was having were kind of kept under the rug, huh? They were kind of kept under the rug. So I'm right, right. So I'm right, right here. The whole night, he made sure to do me in all sorts of positions to make sure that I was going to get pregnant. It was my first time, but my dad was amazing. <gasps> actually can't she fucking said he did all the positions to make me have a fucking baby babe i don't think that's the fucking reason i don't think that's the reason why he did all fucking positions i don't think that's the reason i think y'all were just having a good time and the way she said it was my first time but my dad was amazing what the fuck the way she just slipped that out of her fucking mouth like it was like a normal thing I'm not even done with the video and I want to end it here. The first position I love the most is me. I loved staring at daddy's eyes as he made love to me for the first time. Not to mention when I was crying because I gave him my virginity and he made me a woman. He was so sweet. He kissed away my tears and told me how good I am. The second is dog position. Once I got used to it, it actually made me want more as well. The third position I love most is the reverse cowgirl. When he makes love to me from this position, he hits me right where it made me forget my own name. Even my boyfriend didn't experiment in different positions compared to him. I especially loved it when he spanked me on the butt and said I'm such a good girl. Just like my mommy was. 
I loved all those positions the most because according to many online sources, oh my fucking god, I can't! In order to get I'm actually fucking speechless! <laughs> she was going through the fucking positions? She was telling us the fucking positions? And she has the fucking audacity to put little science up in here saying like the reverse cowgirl is actually the good position for having a baby. This doc's position, whatever she fucking said, is a good position for having another baby because the way your back is bent up, whatever the fuck she said. I actually can't believe what the fuck is going on. What is actually happening? What is happening? We made love all around the house and at different hours of the day for about two weeks. When two weeks were up, I bought three pregnancy tests and ran back home in excitement. Yeah, somebody right here. He said, she said that they basically did it in all different positions all around the house for two weeks. So something just ain't right here. Something ain't right here. I'm scared. I'm confused. I'm repulsed. I'm grossed out. What? Huh? What? Huh? I'm pregnant, Daddy. We did it. Then my eyes widened. Oh, that means I have to stop calling you Daddy. No, sweetheart. You'll be calling me that for the rest of our lives. Does that mean marry me? I nodded and kissed him hard on the face before pulling away while grinning. It's been five years since then. My husband and I are still living in Texas with our two children. Now, is there a moral to this story? Yes. Don't let anyone stop you from getting what you want. What the fuck? The way she just rolled my husband over the tongue. The way that they just got married. Uh, huh? The way she's telling this story is fucking weird. Married for five years. Okay. There's a fucking another one that says my dad got me pregnant two times. I can't. Two times. Two times. I can't. The way she just married her mom's husband. The way she just married her dad. The way she just made a kid with her dad. The way she just explained that story like it was just normal. Yeah, I am done. I am most definitely going to rip this part of my brain and throw it into the fucking sewers. I most definitely am going to bleach my fucking eyes with fucking detergent, kerosene, and maybe acid. I suggest you do the same. That escalated insanely fast what the actual fuck did i just watch what the fuck did i just watch Ugh. i'm gonna go definitely gonna be bleaching my eyes tonight yeah well that's definitely an activity we're gonna be doing tonight okay all right